here's what the Takoda Arena looks like. It's a big rectangular place with the stage in the center where the machines are and various booths by the sides, like this booth to the left, uh, which is PayPal X booth, which is one of the sponsors of the competition, and this refreshment booth with some coke. And this is the stage himself. The computer that was to the very right was the one where I failed my semi-final round and crashed out of the Dakota Open 2010. These are the duplicate screens that are available for every competitor so that spectators can watch what's happening. Unfortunately, the machines are off now, so we can't really see much. This is the booth for NSA which is also one of the event sponsors, which has a lot of free stuff to grab, as you can see. So this is PS3 with some motion controllers that Updates can try to enjoy. This is a micro stage where the results are usually announced and everything official takes place. On those screens we usually see the standings of the current contest. Because of this there are some viewing places here which are not very standard but quite convenient. In the center of the arena you can see the wonderful top coder brackets. This is the relaxation and enjoying your notebook area. As you can see there are not many people here yet because everybody is either sleeping or having breakfast. In the relaxation area there are some board games like Setters of Catan or Blocus, which I learned at this TCO and find quite exciting. Uh, next on the duplicate screens of the other part of contestants. These are the computers where Studio and Mod Dash takes place. We can see the top other bootloader there, which is a bit of improvement on the algorithm side. This is a Facebook booth, which has qu quite a lot of exciting things, including those <coughs> semi skateboards, I don't remember the name, ripsticks, I think, which you can't really stand on unless you come from Facebook. These are the Setters of Catan game that we played yesterday and the tournament sign-up sheet. Unfortunately, we only have 10 people sign up, but probably there will be more. The tournament starts in an hour. This is Yandex booth. Yandex is also one of the sponsors. This is the All-In Challenge, which is the fun event that has replaced all other not exactly top coder events like poker tournament at the previous events. Unfortunately, I didn't enjoy it that much, so I leave it description to people who know why is it so cool. This is the explanation screen, so people that don't know anything about the coder enter and read it. They hopefully get some picture of what's going on. These are the brackets again in full, and this is the desk for the admins, where they sit during the competition. Now let's take a look at the workstation of our algorithm finalist, which contains paper, keyboard, mouse, and some tools like this pencil sharpener. And the more important tools in this setup of the arena are the earplugs, which allow you to get rid of really, really loud noise that's going on when the everybody is excited about watching the round. Here's Ivan Metelsky, the algorithm coordinator. He's waving you goodbye.